Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video. I wanted to illustrate a concept with the Bolt EV that actually kind of extends to other electric vehicles as well. I get a lot of people asking me questions about how do you check uh, battery degradation, how do you check uh, how, how much the battery is worn. Uh, you know the Nissan LEAF comes with those uh, battery capacity lines that sort of indicate uh, and I don't know exactly how accurate those are uh, but for the most part most electric vehicles don't really uh, tell you how much remaining capacity that you have and the Bolt EV is one of those right where if you have degradation you can't really tell uh, I know people try to use torque pro uh, that's an app that uh, links to the OBD2 you can't really tell that way uh, you're just not going to know what your actual capacity is uh, using one of those tools and so I wanted to share with you how I do it I'm a little over 120,000 miles now so this should be a good marker for me uh, to see how uh, much degradation my Bolt EV has and the method for it is pretty simple uh, you basically have to charge all the way to full and then drive as much as you can to get the battery down below 10 to 15, maybe 20% at most, and then just calculate based on the energy that you used to get to that point. Uh, so I'm charged up to full and I'm going on one of my regular 500 mile trips. So for those of you who watch my trip reports, it'll probably look familiar. Uh, and then when we get to our first stop, hopefully somewhere between 180 to 200 miles out, going full freeway speeds, uh, we can be down to about 10% battery maybe and uh, we can check uh, based on that and uh, you know I'll go through the numbers and how I calculated exactly what uh, my battery degradation is at 120,000 miles all right let's uh, get ready to head out All right, so uh, we made it here to uh, Patterson, uh, California. There's the Electrify America charger here. This is about 182 miles, uh, just short of that um, from our starting place. So uh, this is what I was talking about. When you want to test your battery um, capacity, you really do need to drive it down. And unfortunately, with these longer range electric vehicles, the way you have to do this is you have so much battery that you have to cycle through. Um, that it really does require a time commitment and you know this is not something uh, that I think you could just willy-nilly do anytime you wanted to check one of these cars uh, this is something that maybe if you're buying from a private seller and you wanted to check the capacity they would let you take it for a drive like this but again um, this requires going really deep into the battery so we went ahead and we actually hit the low battery warning in fact we were at 10% by the time we got to these chargers and I recommend for these vehicles doing this whether it's a Bolt EV or pretty much any of these vehicles because in the case of the Bolt EV uh, LG Chem and GM did have sort of a, a hole in their QC these bad cells or these bad modules got into batteries that were shipped to customers and that's what that battery recall was about there were only a few hundred of them and as far as we know most of them were corrected with that recall uh, but every now and then you still find one here or there and what will happen is people that just drive the top half of their battery never realize that they have a bad cell and one time they take a long trip they get to maybe 20 percent batteries and they say oh you know 20 percent battery i still have 40 miles of driving left uh, and then it just dies right because one of the cells just can't go lower than that so if you can do one of these cycles to test it's really good for just assessing if you have any bad cells as well so we went down to 10 percent that should be more than enough now let's talk about how to actually calculate uh, the battery degradation so it for me it's really simple according to the charger uh, which is communicating with the car communicating directly with the battery monitoring system or battery management system we used 90 percent of the battery we started at 100 uh, percent we went down to uh, 10 percent so what you do is on the display right it says 49.3 kilowatt hours used well 
all I do is say 90% divide 90 into 49.3 kilowatt hours and then from that decimal you just say well what would it be if it were hundred percent so you just times it by hundred because you've broken down the usable capacity into percentiles right and you times it by 100 and you get your actual capacity so in the case of my Bolt EV my current battery capacity is 54.7 777 uh, kilowatt hours so or 54.8 uh, kilowatt hours now one thing is I don't think this is like a hundred percent accurate I found a fluctuation of maybe plus or minus one one and a half kilowatt hours and uh, so you will see uh, fluctuations but this should get you really close in like I said within about a kilowatt hour of estimating what uh, the usable battery capacity actually is now in my case right 54.77 right uh, kilowatt hours usable uh, out of the original 60 kilowatt hours that means that right now I still have about 90 two percent of my uh, available um, original available capacity or 91.3 uh, percent so less than 10 percent degradation at 120,000 miles and again this is plus or minus uh, a kilowatt hour here or there and I'm still of the belief too that one of the software updates that we had for the Bolt EV might have actually reduced the capacity and so if I account for that more or less two kilowatt hours that I think GM kind of took back um, in their calculations however it works out whether it's just software or it's actually locking away usable capacity it means my actual uh, degradation from my original starting Bolt EV that I got in December of 2016 uh, might only be about five and a half percent basically 94.5 percent of my original capacity um, has degraded and then I lost possibly uh, two kilowatt hours with that uh, battery management uh, software update that I had them do so uh, but that's this is not just about my Bolt TV right I am providing an update um, what my what my battery capacity is now um, versus what it was when I originally bought it but also this is just generally speaking for other electric vehicles if you want to test out um, your actual usable battery capacity uh, then you this is this is the technique I would use for me I've been gathering data since my car only had a you know a hundred 200 miles on it so I actually have sort of a mapping of all of my degradation over time so if you have a new electric vehicle you can do the same thing do this early and then do it later and, and track the difference track the Delta but if you're just looking to buy an, uh, an, an electric vehicle, especially a used one, you might want to just see if you can do this technique uh, just to see how much usable capacity it actually has. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. I, I hope you were able to uh, use this information or maybe if you want to assess your own EV and see, see where it stands, but uh, uh, this is how I do it. So uh, if you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and thank you for watching.